So good morning. Um, on behalf of the uh, National Transportation Safety Board, I want to thank the advocates for giving us the opportunity to support the ninth consecutive year of their annual roadmap <clears throat> to state highway safety laws. Uh, specifically, I want to acknowledge Jackie's leadership in making highway safety a, a national priority for us uh, and really commend the entire advocates team for producing an outstanding report uh, and really an invaluable safety tool. Identifying transportation safety targets, engaging their progress are essential ingredients for being able to empower policy leaders and the public to effect meaningful changes that directly involve saving lives. Uh, there are three topics I'm going to address this morning, taking action, <clears throat> providing tools, and setting goals. First, states' actions save lives. It prevents injuries and reduces crashes. Unfortunately, as so clearly illustrated on the cover of the roadmap, <clears throat> Doing nothing comes with a very high cost of fatalities and injuries. Let's face it, people don't change their ways easily. And even if it means greater personal safety or better health, people are slow to change. We have, however, a very effective and proven formula for, change, for change in transportation safety. This formula involves three critical elements, <clears throat> strong laws, effective education, and high visibility enforcement. Strong laws are fundamental to transportation safety. While we may debate the role of government and its responsibilities to the nation's citizens, one thing is absolutely certain. The safety and protection of the traveling public is an elementary function of government at all levels, local, state, and federal. Reducing the number of deaths on our highways and roads must be a national priority with strong leadership at the state level. While education and high visibility enforcement work in conjunction with laws, strong laws are first and foremost paved the way for transportation safety. This is particularly crucial at the state level. Second, we need tools. We need tools and information for effecting changes that address what actions should be taken to enhance safety on our roads. The 2012 roadmap is an essential tool for identifying safety goals and measuring progress on 15 basic transportation safety laws <clears throat> that have already been proven to be effective. Some laws focus on preventing crashes and proactively address impaired driving, teen safety, teen driver safety, <clears throat> as well as distractions. Obviously, any law that can prevent an accident from occurring in the first place is a huge transportation safety enhancement. Other laws focus on the consequences of a crash after it's occurred, such as adult occupant protection, child booster seats, motorcycle helmets. The 2012 roadmap gives us the necessary information on how much more work we need to do, where we need, where we need to do it, and what needs most attention across the nation. Third, the goals that are outlined in the roadmap represent an enormous opportunity for legislative action in 2012. The good news is we already know the pathway to success, clearly outlined. Passing and enforcing the basic, strong, and effective state highway safety laws <clears throat> that are outlined in the roadmap will prevent injuries, save lives, and reduce crashes. The NTSB has long realized that motor vehicle crashes are responsible for more fatalities than accidents in all other modes of transportation combined, and the numbers are staggering. I mentioned them when I started. Aside from the tragic loss, in human life and personal injury, these crashes also come with a price tag of $230 billion to our nation. Advocates, the NTSB, and many others in America believe that we can and must do better in this area. Many of the 348 new laws that are needed to meet the 2012 roadmap goals are common sense measures, basically acknowledging that strong, proven, and effective highway safety laws protect lives and should be enacted and enforced. As we begin the new year, we want to commend advocates for highlighting the successful states, because they are truly raising the bar on highway safety and provide critical examples for us of what can be achieved and best practices. We also need to commend advocates for taking on the very difficult task of bringing attention to those states that lag behind. With inaction, precious lives are at stake when it comes to road safety and the traveling public. The 2012 roadmap is a critical tool that state, local, and federal governments safety advocacy groups, and individuals should be using to meet or exceed the most important highway and road safety benchmarks that we know. With the roadmap in mind, 
It is all resolved to make 2012 the year that we take action, use tools, and achieve the goals so that all of, our reach our so that all of us reach our destinations safely. Thank you.